hello everyone welcome back hope you all are doing great guys today in this video we will understand what is the effect of auto summary in eigrp so this video will cover some interview question as well because interviewer can ask you what will happen if engineer forget to disable auto summary agar network engineer auto summarization disable karna bhul jata hai to kya effect padega right so interviewer is asking this type of question in interview as well so today we will learn each and everything about auto summarization about automatic summarization in eigrp and as you know eigrp support automatic summarization means it will automatically advertise summary routes to the other eigrp routers just suppose in this topology as you can see over here I have one network 10.1.1.0/24. I'm talking about this network, and I have one network 10.1.2.0/24. And if auto summary is enabled on R1, so R1 will advertise this two two network like this 10.0.0.0. This is summary of these two network. EIGRP supports auto summarization, automatic summarization, but if my ios version is 12 series right then by default auto summarization is enabled so you have to run no auto summary command there agar ios ka version kya hai 12 right to auto summarization wahan pe kya hai enabled to aapko no no auto summary command chalana hota hai but if we are using ios version 15 in ios version 15 by default auto summarization is disable so you don't need to run no auto summary command there let me show you the ios version of my router here let me take access of one router this is r1 so version so as you can see over here my ios version is 15.2 that means auto summarization is disable here here we don't need to run no auto summary command but if you want to enable so command will be auto summary auto summary right in eigrp okay let me discuss one more thing over here then we will move on this topology and uh, guys as you know eigrp if auto summarization is enabled so eigrp will advertise the class full network every time class full network so suppose if i have one router here r1 i have one another router here r2 okay and here i am running two network here i am running 1.1.1.0/24 network here i am running 1.1.2.0/24 network and r2 is connected to R three, R three, and here I am running one more network one dot one dot three dot zero slash twenty four. These are sub network, right? These are sub net. So if EIGR, if auto summarization is enabled on all these router, so R one will advertise which network one dot zero dot zero dot zero slash eight. Default class. class uh, it will advertise class full network right class full network advertise karega to default cdr value ke sath default submit mask ke sath and r3 will also advertise like this 1.0.0.0/8 so r2 will install only one routes in their routing table r2 will install only one route in their routing table jahan se use use list matrix milega right so suppose Via R2, uh, via R1, R2 is calculating calculating matrix 100, and via R3, R2 is calculating matrix 50. So, via R3 for R2, this network is reachable via R3. This is best path via R3. So, R2 will install this network 110. Dot, sorry, 1.0.0.0 dot 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 slash 8 is reachable via R3. If here a user is sitting, right? This user want to communicate with one dot one dot one dot one, right? 
सो सोर्स विल बी एनी थिंग डोंट थिंक अबाउट सोर्स डेस्टिनेशन विल बी वन डॉट वन डॉट वन डॉट वन एंड दिस ट्रैफिक विल रिसीव बाय रोटर टू रोटर टू विल चेक दियर रोटिंग टेबल इन दियर रोटिंग टेबल दियर इज वन एंट्री दैट वन डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो स्लैश एट इज रिचेबल वाया आर थ्री सो आर टू विल फॉरवर्ड दिस ट्रैफिक टू आर थ्री ना आर थ्री डोंट हैव एनी any user who is using this ip address 1.1.1.1 right this is different subnet and this one is different subnet so this user can't communicate with this network and this network this user can only communicate with this network right so for for isi ko avoid karne ke liye hame kya karna padta hai for this scenario we need to disable auto summarization auto summary we need to run auto summary command now let me discuss practically let me show you my topology so here as you can see this is my topology here guys i am running this network 10.1.1.0/24 10. 1.2.0/24 this is my second network this is my third network 10.1.3.0/24 and here 192.168.10.0 and if 192.168.10.2 wants to communicate with this user 10.1.1.2 so r2 will forward this traffic to r4 right because of auto summarization let me configure here the rp first let me take access of router 1 this is my router 1 so ip interface brief exclude and assign let me show you ip configuration yes ip address has been configured on all router let me show you r2 as well r2 so ip interface brief exclude and assign fine let me show you r3 so ip interface brief exclude and assign okay let me show you r4 so ip interface brief exclude and assign okay so ip configuration is fine let me configure eigrp on router 1 so by default on ios 15 version auto summarize summarization is disable so we will enable auto summarization manually okay first of all router eigrp as number 100 and auto summary network network will be 10.1.1.0 wildcard mask will be this one fine second network will be 10.1.2.0 right and third network will be 12.0.0.0 while card mask will be 255 okay just with this one will be while card mask will be different in this scenario while card will be 0.0.255 in the same way with 10.1 as well while card mask will be 0.0.255 right so run section router eigrp see this is my configuration okay let me configure eigrp on router 2 go to configure terminal after that router eigrp 100 auto summary and network 12.0.0.0 while card mask will be this one and network 23.0.0 while card mask will be this one fine now go to r3 router eigrp 
and network network will be 23.0.0 wildcard will be this one and network 192.168.10.0 no, 0.0.255 right and one more network that is 34.0.0.0 okay now let me configure esrp on router 4 so go to router number 4 configure terminal router esrp 100 network 34.0.0.0 wildcard will be this one and network 10.1.3.0 wildcard will be 0.0.255 Okay, so IP root EIGRP. So IP root okay. Now go to R3. Here, if you will run so IP root EIGRP, guys, there is 10 network reachable via 34.4 means via router 4. So if this user if I will ping 10.1.1.1 and source is 192.168.10.1 this is my LAN interface IP address ok see I am not able to ping because router 2 router 3 is forwarding traffic to router 4 router 4 and router 4 is dropping router 4 will drop because see packet flow see the packet flow first of all let me show you routing table of router 3 packet flow will be what so if I will ping ping 10.1.1.1 right source will be 192.168.192.168.10.1 and destination will be what destination will be 10.1.1.1 right this traffic will receive by r3 r3 will check their routing table so in their routing table so ip root in their routing table there is one entry for 10 network right reachable via 34.4 so router 3 will forward this traffic to router 4 now router 4 will check their routing table right so see so ip root and 10 network is directly connected am i right but local network is what 10.1.3. local ip address is 3.1 and this is local network it's a directly connected network so it will forward on this interface right when switch will receive switch will check their mac address table and switch will forward to the user but is there any user who is using this IP address 10.1.1.1 no right so no one will generate a reply router itself drop this top traffic on R4 this traffic will drop but if you I will disable auto summarization go to R1 and say router EIGRP 100 and no auto summary no auto summary and now guys see the routing table of r3 so ip root eigrp now there is particular network 10.0.0.0 reachable via r4 and 10.1 is reachable via r2 10.2 is reachable via r2 right so these two network is reachable via r2 and this network is reachable via r4 and again if i will disable auto summarization on r4 go to configure terminal and say router EIGRP 100 and no auto summary and now now see the routing table of R3 just wait
so here I am running slash eight. Okay, so let me change it. And now you can see the routing table of R3. This network 10.1.3.0 is reachable via router 3 and these two network are reachable via router 2. So this is problem with auto summarization. So thi this is the reason why we need to disable auto summarization in real time otherwise router will advertise class full network right router will perform automatic summarization okay so if auto summarization is enabled on all these router this device can't communicate with these two net network with the user who is sitting in this network who is sitting in this network okay so that's all for today guys bye bye if you like this video please hit on like button if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe this channel thanks for watching that's all for today